and you forget, you come back, you go open your email, and boom, you hear, oh, Ray's been shot. Well, thanks, Hulu. Like, great, great. Let me also, this is a disclaimer. I don't work for any of these companies. I don't know any of their code. This is truly just me as a consumer, uh, me and my grievances. Hello everybody, my name is Nyan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we are talking about some companies that uh, need to fix a few things in their code. This, These are things that I have just been thinking about for like up to a year every time I see something pop up and whatnot and I, I just get, it just irks me and it's funny because it very much is that software developer mind uh, in me because now I do certain things and I'm like, wow, they should really change their code for X, Y, and Z. Let me know in the comments below what things you noticed and what things you agree with and what things you don't. And so first of all, let's start with Mercedes Benz. I got a new car recently about uh, three months ago and it is a Mercedes Benz. I am very happy um, about it because it was a goal I've had for the last like eight years and so I was really really happy that I finally got to do it. There's this specific thing that happens though with my car. So I have the GLA 250 and one thing that was very important to me was the speaker system of the car I was getting. When I was looking at new cars and testing new cars and everything I would put the volume up try to see like okay does it have a good bass does it have good surround sound and whatnot. Can we feel good going to the club in this car and that is true however my car does the specific thing where you're listening to a song right and then let's say you're trying to skip songs so you're listening to a song and you press that like fast forwardy button or the next button on the display where it typically says the artist the song title and all that when you click next now on the display it says track plus one and then it goes to the next track. Now, I don't know if y'all are thinking what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking someone left a print statement somewhere in their, in their code. Someone left a console log somewhere. Um, because to me, that's not what it should do because that's what the code is doing. It's looking at the track, which is, I, in my opinion, track is equal to the certain so the, the current song playing. And then on click, on click of this button, on click, do track plus one, and it goes to the next track. And so that's how I imagine the code is working out. I think someone left a console log somewhere there because I shouldn't see that because you don't have to tell me that it's going to track plus one or the next song but if you wanted to like let's say the programmers really were like no we need to show them that you know we are sticking with what they want us to do and we are going to the next track then ideally what you would say is display on the screen playing next track or skipping or next you wouldn't put track plus one it is literally like track plus one. I'll try to add a picture somewhere around here or a video or of some kind. So if someone working at Mercedes is watching this video, please uh, update that and when you do, let me know so I can put my car up and we can, we can fix all that. Next company on the list is Bumble. Yes, Bumble, the dating app meant for like women to take the first move, which is a whole thing in itself, but that's what I talk for another day. In Bumble, this is super recent. I started noticing this only about two weeks ago because I know this wasn't a thing before then. Now, if you have matches, right? Like matches in your page where you can see that, okay, I have matches with like, let's say these three people. Despite having these matches set, you may still want to swipe and see what other matches you get just, you know, cause it's a free country. Bumble now has a soul that if you're swiping and you have matches, like matches waiting is what uh, I believe the exact term they use. If you're swiping, after like your 10th swipe-ish um, in your current session, it will pop, it will like interrupt you and like put up this pop-up and be like, hey, you have matches waiting, how about you go message those people? Like, like if you don't get the, if you don't get out, and let me continue my swiping. I'm going to throw, like, I'm going to throw you away. Like, I can't stand that. Like, I'll be the, just like in a rhythm, right? And then just like psh, alert, like the, if you've seen the, the circle, it's like alert and like you have matches waiting. I just feel so judged almost. Like you have matches waiting, like 
what what the hell are you doing swiping all up in here like can you not tell me what to do and like i'm making this way deeper than it is but it's just something that annoys me a lot and i'm sure this is all done within some type of if statement like if user has matches but is swiping after 10 swipes insert this alert how about we take that whole part out like if user is swiping leave them alone like let's let's just not and so yes that is my grievance number two that is yeah with bumble and then last but certainly not least because this is something that has been bothering me for years 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 because this has always been a thing with hulu i don't know if other people have noticed this but hulu right and there are, to be honest honest there are a couple of things um that should be fixed uh, with Hulu's app, but again, that's a conversation for a different day. This specific thing, however, I can't let go any longer. On Hulu, if you're watching a show, right, say you're watching, you know, The Good Doctor, which I've actually been watching a ton. If you, you know, follow me on Instagram, you know that. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, it's at the Black Female Engineer. But yes, anyway, if you're watching a show, say The Good Doctor, and let's say you pre you put pause, right? You put pause uh, because you realize you need to go do some other things. You put pause, put your laptop away, and go hop in your Mercedes to go on the Bumble date you just scheduled. So you come back, this is hours later, it was a good date. You come back and you turn on your laptop and you're trying to just, uh, let's say you write an email. You turn on your laptop, you go to your email, and you start hearing something. You start hearing like dialogue and whatnot. You realize it's the good doctor playing. Why is a good doctor playing? It's on pause. You're on pause. Why are you playing? I'm not even on the screen. Hulu somewhere on somewhere on line 652 of media.py. They have, and you know, this is me speculating. They have a function and actually it wouldn't even be like media.py it'd be like media.js uh the code i'm thinking they have a line of code that sa that says on page load window.onload i think is the exact syntax like window.onload play because so simply by you turning on your computer and your browsers all like reloading um like turning on because yeah you've been gone for a while Hulu starts playing the show you are on. This it doesn't matter if you put pause on it. It doesn't matter if you didn't put pause on it. It doesn't matter if when you open your laptop you're on an Excel spreadsheet or you open your laptop and now you're on Hulu. No matter what, on page load, the media starts playing. Why? 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 Like I can't stand this and let's say what if you had paused it before this like super good scene that you were like you know what like, i need to go on this date so let me wait to reveal who you know is about to get murdered or whatever now i guess we're not talking about the good doctor this is i don't know how to get away with murder but let me pause before i see who gets murdered let me run to this date and you know when i come back and everything and you forget you come back you go open your email and boom you hear oh, ray's been shot well thanks hulu like great great like now i don't even need to put play again and watch you so another one i don't know why i'm getting so actually i do know why i'm getting so worked up with this because i truly find it absurd i hate this part of hulu so much and it's funny because now i am working in the media realm and yeah there's a lot that comes into um yeah, making apps like this and everything. And so please know that I am not uh, trying to say that anyone is a bad developer or, you know, y'all aren't working hard. Like, I know, believe me, I know. This is just a fun, lighthearted video where I just share a few things in hopes that maybe something gets fixed. With like, with like a 1% hope that someone's watching this who can actually address these matters. But really just to all in all share that, yeah, when you have a profession when you spend 40 hours a week doing something you start seeing the world a lot differently you start thinking about the code that goes into the daily things you 
love and the technologies you use and everything. It's very interesting. I imagine if you are a barista and you make all of these coffees all the time, you now have a very specific taste when it comes to coffee and you know that, oh, they use the 1% milk instead of 2% and everything. Like you just start knowing these things. And so it's very funny um, to see that that is what has become of me. Please let me know what things you agreed with, what things you didn't, uh, what things you maybe didn't notice before, but now that I said it, you see it or notice it. And yeah, just your thoughts. If there are other companies that you have thoughts like this with, please, please, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to get that like fun dialogue going and maybe make this uh, more into like more videos and do like, like part two, part three, part four. So let me know in the comments below, but don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I will see you all later. Bye.